Problem number three deals a lot of angle vocabulary. So what I'm gonna do is break down each one of those. So a linear pair, this is the answer is B. Linear pair, linear means line. So linear means line. Pair means there's two of them. So two points, or two, I'm sorry, two angles that make a line. Okay, they must be, they must be consecutive, meaning in a row, they must be adjacent to each other. So they have to have that common ray, they have to share that. The next term is a right angle. So right angle measures exactly, so if X is the angle, is exactly 90 degrees. Next term is vertical angles. Vertical angles happen when two lines intersect. Okay, so we have two lines that intersect and they are the non-adjacent angles. So we're talking about, some people think about them as opposites, but they're the non-adjacent angles. So this red one, that is a set of vertical angles. The blue angles here, that's another set of vertical angles. Complementary angles are any two angles that add up to be 90 degrees. Okay, so clearly 40 plus 50 is 90. But um, complementary angles, they can be non-adjacent as pictured here, or you could have something like this. Oops, sorry, that was horrible. Like this. Um, and you could have a ray separating them. It doesn't really matter, but since they add up to 90, they would be complementary angles. Supplementary angles are very similar to complementary, except their total is 180 degrees. Again, they can either be non-adjacent, as pictured here, or they could be adjacent like this. Um, we can just do this here. They could be adjacent like this. Now, a better name for this would be a linear pair, which we're going to see in a second. But they are supplementary. Okay, an obtuse angle is an angle, let's say the angle is X, okay? That angle is greater than 90, but it has to be less than 180 degrees. Okay, so an obtuse angle measures between 90 and 180 degrees. An acute angle, again, thinking if that's X, an acute angle has greater than zero degrees, but less than 90 degrees. Perpendicular lines. Perpendicular means that lines intersect and form a 90 degree angle. Okay, so with the lines intersecting there, even just putting the right angle there, that tells us that those lines are perpendicular. Angle BAC, this tells me that the vertex must be A, which it is here, and B and C are just points on the other rays. Angle ABC, again, the vertex has to be B. Again, A and C are just points on the ray. Adjacent angles means that there are angles that share a ray. They have a common ray. So if I call this angles one and two, they, they share this ray right here, which makes them adjacent angles. Adjacent just means next to or consecutive, 